What's up guys, welcome to the first ever episode of Dom's Funkin' Madness 2, Brink of Craziness Movie Talk. We'll see you after the intro. Boy do we have a doozy of an episode today. Starting off with a little don't believe anyone, then heading over to plants for Dom's Nightmare Awakening, then talking about multi-dimensional.mov, then some rumors to hell, and finally, heading over to Teaser City, giving you all a sneak peek of Tape 3. Won't be posted, but will be shown partially in this episode. Okay, let's head over to Don't Believe Anyone. Welcome to Don't Believe Anyone. If you don't know this segment, Lance, give them some info so they know what the segment is about. So basically, Dom tells me myths from his life and we take his myths to our advantage and find out why it is circulating around his brain. Alright, here we go. First myth. This one, literally takes us back to childhood. This myth is, I used to say the lyrics of popular songs in gibberish, causing Friday Night Funkin' to be born. Yeah I know what you're thinking here. Why did I do this? Well it might be because I would be the full weirdo, and my mother back in the day thought I had autism, meanwhile I have Asperger's in real life. Dang dude, that's crazy. Boy it doesn't stop there. Guess what song I said in gibberish the most? It's gotta be like Diamonds by Rohana, right? Not even close. I sang Ed Sheeran's Shape of You in gibberish a crap ton of times. Oh my, I freaking called it, dude. So, is this myth confirmed, fake? or plausible. Dang it's gotta be at least plausible. Yeah I would literally do it half of the time. So I agree with you. Alright, time for the second to last myth. The myth is, I got on a cozy coop, and got in trouble for it. Oh lord have mercy. What? Yeah, insane, right? Like why did I get caught by my former friend Bear? How did he even see me in that pile of crap baby coop? One simple answer. He saw you trying to get in the cozy coop, but you are too big. Bruh, what? Okay, I can't anymore. Confirmed, fake, or plausible? Confirmed. I agree. Here we go. Final myth time. The myth is, I used to take 8 steps on the approach when I went bowling. Bro that's illegal dude. The correct amount is 4 or 5. I know. There's also another myth in here. I didn't even know what bowling etiquette was. Ayo bro, that's what I call a bowling dumb dumb. Bro, I literally can't. Cast your vote. Well I gotta say that's confirmed. For me, I'd say plausible. Literally one for three. That was stupid. But hey on the bright side, time to head to plants for Diom's nightmare awakening. Let's head to the planning center. Welcome to plants for Diom's nightmare awakening. As you may know, there's the original Diom, where he is trapped in this endless purgatory for eternity, and does bad deeds to get BF out of the way. But oh boy, is this version different or what? This time, Diom wakes up from a nightmare, and finds a knife on the ground. And he picks it up, then finds out, he is all alone. So this is the reason why he is losing his sanity. Is there like a mechanic for the whole free play tape? Yes, many of them. There will be reverse notes as usual, and you will have to dodge Diom's knife stabs by pressing the spacebar, if it were a mod. And the note speed will increase if you miss the dodge. Dang bro, that's literally the true meaning of impossible. Hey Dom, why don't you give the viewers an illustration of what it may look like? Sure thing. Does that look insane or what? Yeah, it does. And yep, we are staying here because it's time to talk about multi-dimensional.mov. As you may tell, the DFM2 team have been working very hard on this duo, featuring Lankfall. Yep, they have been working real hard on these characters. Lance, mind telling the mechanics in the tape? Sure thing. There will be a temperature in the right side of your screen, and this means the health drain will get stronger each time it fills up, with 100% resulting in instant death and there will be ice notes. If you were to hit them in a mod with them, your screen would freeze for a couple of seconds. And now, it's time for the illustration of what it will look like. 
Ew. That is so freaking crazy. I know. My dreams are now haunted. Time to head back to the desk, for some rumors to hell. Ah, feels so good to be back at the desk. Lance, mind explaining what rumors to hell is about? So, there are rumors that spread around Dom's brain, and we take these rumors to our advantage and track down why they are spreading. Alrighty then. First rumor. This one is a massively uncalled for moment for me in elementary school. This rumor is, I said mean things to my mom, almost getting me into a conversation with the cops. Whoa whoa whoa, what did you say? I know dude. Why did I even do that? Might be because you hated your mother? 100%. That's why the 9 year old murderer is in the movie. Bro you literally broke the fourth wall. Is this rumor confirmed, false, or plausible? I've gotta say false my man. Like how would you get interrogated by the cops for doing that? I agree. One for one baby. Alrighty then, second to last rumor. This one is a very, very controversial one. This rumor is, I would imitate Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Daycare, when I was seven. Okay. This is a controversial pick, because I still do it today, and people do not know the fact that I do this. I would say like, the Black Realm. Get when you get a copy of Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Crazy, dude. Cast your votes. That is 100% confirmed. I totally agree with you. Two for two. Alright, last rumor. This one is literally the most embarrassing thing I saw at a track meet. The very first one. This rumor is, I saw two of my first grade friends after my 100 meters run. Okay bro. I ain't sure about this one already. Let me give you like a synopsis of what I mean by this. Bro. This is hard to explain in words. Well first, I was running the 100 meters, along with an athlete who was apparently an SLC, and my friends from school. Dude, you know who was helping that autistic dude with the 100 meters? Don't know, it's gotta be like an 8th grader. You are correct. Two of them actually. They were holding his freaking hands. Them two girls tried to convince me to join in, but I took it seriously and said no. And yes, I got silver medal on that race. Guess what happened before that autistic kid finished? Just going as normal? Nope, not even close. My track coach joined in to help him. Bro that's freaking crazy. And then, the moment I got on the field, guess who I saw? Your old friends. Abso freaking lootly. They got me so good, that I flipped out for a while. I freaking camped anymore. Is this confirmed, fake, or plausible? 1000% confirmed. I totally agree. Let's go, full combo. But now, it's time to head to Teaser City. Welcome to Teaser City. So, in today's episode of Teaser City, we will be showing a teaser for March 10th, 2023. Alright Lance, you ready for the teaser? I sure am, bro. Alright then, enjoy. Um, where is Dom? Yeah, about that. He is having a mental breakdown right now. Would you two do me a huge favor, and check on him? Heck, even try to take him on a walk to regather his thoughts? Don't worry coach. We both know a lot about sadness in general. We are heading over to the meeting room right now. Thank you very much, you too. Boy, if I were to take my own life right now, that's what I would do. Why am I hearing footsteps? Don't tell me I'm in some... Hey there, dude. Oh, hey Irma. Why are you here? Well, we heard you were having a mental breakdown. Yeah. Life literally sucks for Naspi. Yeah, we feel your pain. Sadness can be tricky to handle sometimes. But hey. How about we go on a walk? That can clear your thoughts, right? Nah, I'd rather sing, since that's like the best way to stop this slump. Um, okay. So, that was the teaser. I hope you all will like it when the full movie comes out. And that will wrap up today's episode. 
Just remember that on Saturday, there will be no episode of this. Just the 4 Bowler Clash collab. And for now, see you all next time.